Hello everyone and welcome back. This is another video for practicing for beginners. And uh, in this video, we would like to accomplish uh, this uh, drawing here or this part. And if you look carefully to this part, it, although it has like a, a inclination feature, like uh, an angle 120, but the way to do it is mainly as if you look uh, to the projection, so this is a top uh, view, the front view, and the right side view. Then also, so what we will do here, here is that I'm going to start with the top view or top plane. And in top plane, I'm going to draw this sketch here. That I have these three uh, circles, concentrated circle, and then I'm going to add to it this dimension here which is about 90 millimeter dimensions are in millimeter so we will use uh, nc metric okay once i am done with the uh, base which is this base here what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a plane uh, parallel to the top plane so because we started the top plane here so parallel to the top plane i'm going to create a plane a new plane and then I'm going to use the steering wheel of solid edge to rotate it around the edge here 120 degrees. So this way I will create a new plane here 120 degrees with the horizontal plane or the top plane. And then I'm going to lock myself to this plane and then do the sketch. This is sketch here on this plane, on this new plane. And as you can see, I'm going to create these two wings. They are exactly in the middle of the of shape. So actually here, if this one is 100, so at uh, 50, I'm going to put the center, the uh, circle 25 degree, uh, 25 millimeter, and I will bigger circle 50 uh, millimeter, concentrated in the center of the shape in this line, along the, the, the two edges. Okay, so now in this uh, uh, video, Although we will practice some other the, the standard way of doing our drawings but also this will be a good chance for you to practice how to create a plane with different angle and you how to use the steering wheel and also how to create a rib uh, and this rib is attached to a curved surface here like I see the curve the, the cylinder here so it's going to be attached to the cylinder. So there's a small trick you need to do for that. Okay. Okay. Now the, what else we can do? Just, uh, okay. Okay. So I'm going to lock myself to the top plane and start the sketch here and finish with that and then continue with the creating the plane and so on. Okay. So without further ado, let's go to solid edge and start the drawing. So I'm going to choose first, uh, here is the, the to, to start the drawing, I'm going to click one of the drawing tools so I can reveal the uh, base uh, reference uh, planes. So click on a circle by center. Once I click on a circle by center, so I revealed what the, 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 ref, the base reference planes. So I'm going to lock myself to the top plane so you see the the, the lock I'm gonna click on I, I move my mouse to to touch any line of the top plane and once I see the lock I'm gonna click on the lock once you click on the lock you will see that in the upper right corner f3 means that I'm locked to to the plane which is a top plane let's go to the top plane and start the process so I'm gonna see circle by center I'm gonna put the first one is I have 80 I'm going to put it exactly in the in the uh, coordinate axis and the data and this is should be 80 Enter. and then put the other one circle by center and this should be 60 enter put it exactly in the center in the coordinate axis and then the next one is 30 and put it exactly in the center here. And the next step is I wanna make sure that they are all concentric. So 
and lot them together so concentric i'm going to choose concentric and then say okay this smaller one will be concentric with the bigger one and the smaller one and the, the other one will be concentric with the bigger one okay so i got all of them concentric now the next step i need to draw the uh, the thing as, as you can see here <clears throat> I need here the distance here 90 and the height so I'm going to draw a rectangle by two points and the dimension are the width uh, the, the length is 90 and the width, the height is 80 okay so I'm going to go to solid edge I'm going to choose rectangle by two point and the dimension the width is 90 and the height is 80 and so I'm gonna go I'm gonna come to the tip here click and just start rotating with you so I can put it exactly at the other tip here once I see it at the exact tip or uh, or the angle 180 I'm gonna click so this way I got it right uh, I'm gonna use the trim to get rid of these stuff in the middle here and this one here this one this one and this one and i don't need this one okay very good so now the next step is i'm gonna just to go home and i'm gonna click extrude and once I have extrude, I'm going to choose face and I need, okay, that's good, you know, so I'm going to go up, how much? 15. Okay, I'm going to put 15, 1, 5. What is this? This is not the right one. This should be 15 okay so it is just to go down okay 15. okay so now what i'm going to do now and then i can click uh select in the middle of the the two circles i'm going to click here and then click on the arrow and i need it to be positive okay i need this one to be 30. 30 so I got this one so I got the base perfect okay so now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just turn it around because I need to make a, a plane because this was the top plane the bottom here so I want to create a plane see this create plane here consonant plane I'm going to click on consonant plane and I'm going to choose this one this plane here so I created a plane, a new plane, which is in the same location of the top plane. Now what I'm going to do is, you see this uh, <clears throat> a wheel? So I'm going to go to the center of the wheel and I'm going to move it till it comes here at the edge here. Very good. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the, on the, on the wheel and start rotating the angle okay 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 to get i need minus 120 so minus depending on how how this uh, the system will, will work with you 120 enter so i was able to create the plane which has 100 okay so if i look from the front plane i have i, I have it 100 it is 120 with the horizontal line okay okay now the next step is i'm going to rotate it in a way that i can lock myself to this new plane here okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose a line and then highlight the, the the plane the new plane so this way i'm locked to the new plane you see f3 i'm going to click on the lock so now i see f3 at the upper right corner 
So this means I'm locked to this new plane. So anything I'm going to draw is going to be in this plane, in the new plane, located on the new plane. So I'm going to line here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the edge here. Go vertical up. How much? 100. Is it? Yeah, it is 100. Okay, 100. Sorry. And it is vertical. Enter. Enter. Okay. And then what? 80. Horizontal 80. Okay, so I'm going to say 80. Enter. The angle correct. And then I'm going to go down to the tip here. So this way, this should be how much? Should be the 100. Okay, let me see. It is 100. Okay. So now we forgot to, to, to close the... Okay, so now I'm going to close the other end here. So I'm going to connect the both ends. So now I need to close it. So escape. Okay, good. And this is, once I close the shape, it's going to be bluish inside, will be bluish uh, color. This means that it is connected. Everything is connected now. Okay. And anything I'm going to draw is going to locate it on this shape, on this plane. The first thing, if you look carefully here on the uh sketch uh, i also i forgot to mention that the sketch will be available the draft sheet with the dimensions will be available in the description under the video in the description and there is a link that will take you to my uh, google drive location so you can download a copy of the draft sheet if you are interested to to do the drawing and you would like to get the dimension so the dimensions will be available or the, the, the file will be available on my uh, uh, Google Drive. Okay. At a distance 50 from the bottom or exactly in the middle. So I have a circle 25 and a bigger circle 50. Okay. So let's go to solid edge. Circle by center. The first one is, I'm going to say 50. And it should be located in the, exactly in the middle. It, it is in the middle. You see the symbol for the middle? I'm going to click and go back again to the front of it and single and the click in the middle. Okay, very good. Okay, now the next diameter is 25. Highlight the circle and go to the center. When you see concentric or they are in the center, I'm going to click, highlight the same thing also here, and go to the center and highlight. Okay. Okay. So now I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be. So now let's start cleaning. I'm going to click this part here, click this one, and click this one, and get rid of this one. Very good. Click this one. Like this one, get rid of this one, and click this one. Very good. So I was able to get these two wings, uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to home. Okay. I'm going to select the shape here, and it is plus, it's actually true. It's going to be plus, and I'm going to extend it to the other direction so it's going to be in this direction and i need 15. i'm going to put 15. <clears throat> so it came out very nice and perfect so i was able to get the shape the only thing left now is to get the the, the rip but before I do the rep, just let me get the, the, the curvature. <clears throat> so we know we, we have that, uh, or we can do it later, but it's okay. So let's do the curvature then. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this one here. I tilt it a little bit. So I'm going to go to around the edge here. I'm going to make it round. It is 10. I'll make it 10. And this one is 10 too. Good. 
and this one will be 10. This one will be 10. Not this one, undo. Okay, 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 what I did, this one will be 10 to round again. So I'm gonna click on this edge. Uh, then I'm gonna go to this location, edge, go to this location. And let me do the other side, the edge here and the other side with the top the edge here okay so I, will, I got all the curves okay the next step is i need to do the the, the rib and if you look careful here the rib is exactly in the middle of the shape so it's going to be on the uh, the front plane okay so i'm gonna highlight the uh, get the front plane and make it on and lock myself to the front plane so i'm gonna go back here to the front plane where is my front plane where is my front plane so i'm gonna click on the front plane and then get a line oh sorry i'm gonna just make it i need to make to turn this off okay here is the front plane i'm gonna make it on I have the front plane on. I don't need this one on anymore, so I'm gonna close it. Okay. So now I need to get a tool, a drawing tool, which is the line. Go to the front plane and lock myself to the front plane. When I see the lock, I'm gonna click on the lock. Means what? I locked myself to the front plane, and anything I'm gonna draw is gonna be exactly in the front plane. So I'm gonna go to the front plane now. And make a line start from the tip here from the edge here to the edge here once i get the edge here and because of the curvature i'm gonna go inside a little bit just a little bit just maybe one and a half a millimeter or something that's good enough very good okay so exactly what i did is i draw uh, the line from the middle here to the middle here because i'm locked to the front plane so it's going to be exactly in the middle and to, to come here and then i go a little bit so now let's go to to home and i'm going to go to thin wall and click on rip and i'm going to choose this line and say accept and the thickness of the rib should be 10 millimeters this this is exactly what we need so it's acceptable so i'm going to accept that and i'm done okay so this way uh, we we were able to to get the part in a very efficient and very uh, productive way and uh, first i would like to thank you for watching the video and i would love to hear your feedback and at the same time, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and give it a thumb up. Have a wonderful day, and see you soon on another video. Bye-bye.